Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the best things to do in Vienna, Austria during winter time. Number one, visit the Christmas markets. Vienna is full of amazing Christmas markets. If you come here in winter, you can't miss the festive vibes. Any major sites you visit, you will likely find the Christmas market next to it, like this one in front of Hofburg Palace, or the one at the foot of St. Stephen's Cathedral, or the one right behind Upper Belvedere, or the one at Schoben Palace. If you only have time for visiting one, I recommend the Viennese Dream Christmas Market in front of the City Hall, the largest one in Vienna. It has everything you can imagine for the perfect Christmas market. Wonderful Christmas lights, carousel, a variety of food and wine, plenty of traditional handcrafted goods, and elaborate Christmas decorations. The unique backdrop of the Gothic City Hall building makes it a fairy tale come true. After Christmas, this place will be turned into an ice rink. No matter which month you come in the winter, there's something magical here waiting for you. Number two, see an opera in the State Opera House. When in Vienna, how can we not immerse ourselves in the joy of music? On a winter evening, one very Viennese experience is to see an opera in the Vienna State Opera House. It's one of the most important and leading opera houses in the world. This remarkable building has appeared in multiple movies, the most famous one being Mission Impossible Rouge City, where the exciting fighting scene took place at the backstage when an opera was playing. If you do plan to see an opera here, you really need to book tickets in advance, because they are all world-class performances. Don't worry that you can't understand what they are saying. There's a digital screen in front of each seat, so you can look at the subtitles in the language of your choice. Number three, experience the traditional Viennese coffee house. Walking in the minus temperature for hours isn't easy, and the Viennese coffee houses are savior. Luckily, they're everywhere in Vienna. Viennese coffee culture is deep and unique. Just open any coffee menu; there are at least a dozen types. With a lot of them finishing with whipped cream on top, the Viennese coffee house is a place where people come and spend hours reading newspapers or catching up with friends. Enjoy the comfort and allow time to pass. In Vienna, every coffee or tea you order comes with a glass of water, as the city has the best drinking quality water from the tap. Number four, visit a classic museum. Vienna is a city that spoils the art lovers. As there are so many world-class museums and galleries, visiting the museums is a fantastic way to appreciate Vienna in winter. A very unique museum for this city is the Belvedere. Belvedere was a royal palace commissioned by Prince Eugen of Savoy. It consists of two palaces. The main exhibitions are in the upper Belvedere, up the hill, from where you can overlook the lower Belvedere, along with the garden in between. Today, they house some of the most valuable art collections in Austria, with major works by the Viennese artist Gustav Klimt. The most famous one is the Kiss, the center stage of the entire museum. Here, Van Gogh or Monet's works are no longer in the spotlight, as here is the home base of Gustav Klimt, hosting his largest collections. Number five, appreciate the unusual architectures. Want to see something unusual? I got one for you. The Kunsthaus Wien Museum, Friedrich Three Hundertwasser, is one of the most famous Viennese artists, architects, and one of the most prolific figures in the late 20th century Austrian art history. He designed Kunsthaus Wien, a house with irregularities, uneven floors, colorful tiles, and curving walls and windows. A chaotic nonsense. And yet, interesting harmony. This museum exhibits visionary works by artists from Austria and the international. Due to Hanawasa's forward-looking vision of architecture, ecology, and society, Kunsthaus became Vienna's first certified green museum. Hanawasa has left his remarks all over the city. 
Just a few minutes' walk is another remarkable architecture, Hondawasa House, an unusual apartment building, resembling the design of Kang's House Museum. It's said that Hondawasa's architecture style was inspired by Antonio Gaudi, who also favored irregularities and whose magnificent architectures shaped the city of Barcelona. To find out more about those breathtaking buildings designed by Gaudi, check out the link on the upper right corner. Number six, warm up your body with traditional Viennese food. The traditional Viennese food is a nice way to warm up your body in winter. They're hot, comforting, high protein and calories, but taste really good. When in Vienna, don't miss out on these hearty dishes. The schnitzel, a breaded and fried veal escalope, often served with potato salad. Kaiserschmarrn, a lightly sweetened, fluffy shredded pancake served with plum sauce. It takes its name from the Austrian Emperor Franz Joseph I. Because he was very fond of it, Viennese goulash, stewed beef, often served with salty potatoes, originated in Hungary. It found its way to Austria and developed quite a few variations. A variety of beef soup, as soup plays a major role in the Viennese cuisine. For example, the beef soup with liver dumplings, or beef goulash soup. Number seven. Visit the imperial palaces. The Habsburg Empire, who ruled Austria for six centuries, left the city with multiple beautiful Baroque-style imperial palaces. Visiting the palace is a nice way to stay warm in winter, while enjoying the best of Austrian history. Walk along the Vienna city center, you won't miss the Habsburg Palace, the former imperial palace, and the winter residence of the Habsburg Empire. Today. Is the official residence and workplace of the President of Austria. For the outside the city center, you'll find Schönbrunn Palace, the Imperial Summer Palace. Inside this Baroque building, almost everything is covered in gold, an architectural style for the sweet and romantic period of Austria. When walking in the breathtaking golden ballroom, I just wanted to dance to the waltz music. Number eight. Find the best soccer court. Another way to warm up your body and unique in Vienna is to pump up your blood sugar with the traditional Viennese cake, soccer tort. It's a rich chocolate cake with a bit of apricot jam in the middle. The best places to try soccer tort are Cafe Hotel Soccer and Cafe Demo, who are still debating who has the original recipe. However, do expect a long queue if you didn't book ahead. Especially during the holiday season, soccer tort is served in almost every cafe in Vienna. So if you are not too particular about the original recipe, you may avoid standing in the cold Austrian wind or paying double the normal price. Number nine, go ice skating. Every year, right after Christmas, the area of the Christmas market in front of the city hall is turned into one of the largest ice rinks in Europe. If you come to Vienna before its opening in January, like me, the ice rink between the concert halls and the step park is also amazing. It's spacious with a segment dedicated to ice hockey training. The tickets are a good deal, 10 euro during the day for as long as you want, and 6 euro after 6 p.m. The 8 euro rental skates are ripoff, but still, it's very unique experience for ice skating lovers. This area is full of five-star hotels with Intercontinental on one side and Ritz-Carlton on another, and with walking distance to the underground and tram stations. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if so, please do give it a like and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.